So when you're trying to get into software, I see mindset as being um, the, the difference between people who get into software quickly and the people who struggle. Um, and I say that because I talk to a lot of people who are trying to get into software who just got into software. Um, and th the consistent thing I see between the people who get in, you know, quickly, you know, maybe not easily or quickly, but just, you know, it, it, I was going to say smooth, but, you know, it, it's not always smooth. The people who, they don't linger in the uh, process of trying to get a job in software, right? So there's no, like, lingering, I think maybe is the right word. They don't linger after they, you know, have done their training and they're kind of more intentional about getting into software. Maybe there is some time there but they don't linger in that time, if that makes sense. Um, but so those people who don't linger, the, the common thread is that, you know, their um, mindset seems to be very positive and, you know, determined. There's no, not a whole lot of doubt. Um, you know, for me, I got into software and it was a very anxiety-filled, doubt-filled, um, you know, depressing, discouraging time, right? And I'm, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I was very determined and, uh, you know, consistent. I, I kept on showing up and I was, I was, you know, uh, maybe I had my doubts, but I was not going to give up, if that makes sense. So I think that that made up for a lack of healthy mindset on, on my journey. Um, but if you can have a positive mindset and that determination, I think it sets you up very nicely to get into software. Um, so, you know, I get discouraged sometimes trying to help people get into software uh, because, you know, you're usually talking to a group of people who are discouraged <laughs> and trying to do something that's very hard. And so I get discouraged. And every once in a while I come across some content on LinkedIn or YouTube that uh, just changes my mindset, helps me shift from a uh, discouraged place, uh, you know, a defeatist attitude to, yeah, it, you know, it's doable, here's how you do it. And getting excited and re-energized, and energized is maybe the, the most appropriate word there. Um, so I came across two pieces of content recently uh, that I wanted to share with you. Um, and, and it's, you know, probably bad content for me to be reading uh, posts on a video but I'm going to do a little bit of that and then I'll share the links uh, to the content in you know, the description of the video. Go check it out. I don't know how long the links will last. Um, maybe forever. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so the first is from uh, a friend of mine. His name is Andrew Clarkson. He lives in Toronto and he got into software about a year ago. And it, the post is um, describing how he went from selling car parts to getting a job in software in 10 months. And, you know, it's just really cool to, to see the recap at a high level of his journey. Um, you know, he talks about some of the lower points, some of the higher points. It's, it's a longer post. Um, but he talks about how, you know, he had a process and, you know, he adjusted his process and um, just all the myriad of things he did, um, you know, learning software for one, um, you know, how he approached it how he approached networking, um, you know, he started organizing meetups, he went to meetups, he created community, um, just, you know, when you read it, you think about, wow, I could, I could be doing more. Um, so it, it's just a really great post and I, I hope you go check it out. Um, the second is someone I have not interacted with as much. Uh, his name's Thomas Gooch and I'll, I'll just read his whole post because it's a little shorter. Um, but then there's a comment afterwards that uh, I, I found just as valuable, maybe more valuable. Uh, his post is, am I crazy for turning down job offers in this economy? I don't think so. I've now turned down four offers, one due to pay, 45K, one due to location, and two due to not feeling the culture, vibe, interview process, red flags. I want it. I'm hungry and lean, ready to focus in on any tech necessary. But I also want a good fit, and when it hits, it'll be perfect. So I asked him like, hey, how did you generate interviews and uh, offers? And he said, it's a simple process. One of the offers came from a recruiter hitting me, here, hitting me up here on LinkedIn. 
and another from Upwork. Sadly, those were the two worst. So a good LinkedIn, GitHub, and portfolio have been helpful. Well, have to have been helpful. But my Upwork isn't anything special. I have only one client finished and another in process, so I still look new on there. For the other two, I was a clicker, but followed up with a personal message to the hiring manager. I've got most of my interviews this way. Just clicking apply is a waste of time. Make a human connection to stand out. Uh, and then he talks about, this is actually kind of interesting too, so I'll read this. Things I know I can do better is to refine my projects on my portfolio. Only one full stack project and a bunch of static websites. I can improve the full stack project and add another that I've been working on too. So that, that kind of gives you an insight into like, wow, his portfolio isn't anything special. You know, static websites and one full stack project. That's, you know, a lot of people have that. Um, so, it, and yeah, anyway, I guess what I'm trying to say is there's a lot more to getting into software than just how technically proficient you are. You can get to a, that place of having static websites and one full stack project fairly easily. You know, I mean, it takes time and it's difficult, but a lot of people can get to that place and then sit there and struggle to find work. Thomas Gooch has turned down four offers, having got to the same technical place that a lot of people have gotten to and still struggle. Um, so you see what I'm saying there, that the, the difference maker is the attitude, the mindset. Um, so check out those two pieces of content. Be mindful of your mindset, you know, um, manage it um, as, as much as you can. Um, if you find yourself getting discouraged, try to find ways to, to get reinvigorated, re-energized. You know, that might be in the form of content, might be in the form of taking a break, I don't know, but, uh, you know, find what works for you. And I know that's maybe not helpful and frustrating advice, but 